So I've been avoiding talking about my ex for a long time. And there have been things that have happened that I could have made a huge deal about and I didn't. Um, because I didn't want to talk about it anymore. And I'm like, oh my God, this is ridiculous. I could make a video. I could talk about this on you now. I could make a big deal out of these ridiculous things that have happened, but I'm not going to because I'm tired of talking about it. And what happens is even though I know that the blog is here and, and you know, this will probably end up online, it was frustrating for me for a while because even though I would avoid making videos or like making a big deal about these things, I would stream on you now for like three hours and someone would ask a question and I would talk about him for like a minute or two and that clip would get posted online and it would make me look as though all I would talk about was him and all I would talk about was the stupid drama. And so I kind of just decided that at a certain point, I'm like, I I'm not even going to mention it anymore, even if something significant happens because I'm tired. I'm so annoyed with all of it. And I just, I've, I've moved past it. Like I've dated people since him, like, yeah, relatively brief relationships. Um, but like I've, I have moved on and, um, I would really rather not have to keep talking about it. And for the most part, I avoid it. If something happens in private, I've kept it that way. There've been two things that have happened at least of, of, you know, decent significance that have happened that I've said nothing about because I don't want to keep talking about it. Where it gets difficult for me to avoid is whenever it's online. So today he posted a video called an apology or something like that um, where he specifically mentions my name, which he still can't pronounce correctly. It's just Jacqueline. It's not Jacqueline. <laughs> uh, he specifically mentions my name a few times and at some point in it, he said that he hopes that I see it. He, he made the video, mentioned in the video that he wanted me to see the video, and posted it on his YouTube channel. Okay, so obviously, I'm going to see it. Of course, it was my choice to click on it and watch it. But the thing is, is was it even really? Because if I have floods of tweets... You know, and I have people, people were commenting on my Instagram, people were commenting on my vlog of Warp Tour that I just posted, and I deleted those comments because I don't want to see it. I don't want to go on my own content and see people talking about him. I really don't. And I don't know how many times I have to say this over and over and over again. If he posts something about me, if he tweets about me, if he says anything about me, I don't want to see it. Like, I wish that he would give me the respect of, of leaving me alone. Like, clearly I have sent the message that that's what I want. And I wish people who watch me would give me the respect of not sharing, you know, things from him with me. I don't want to see it. I do not want to see it. But whenever you make a video to your audience about me and tell them, you know, and say within the video, I hope this gets to her. Of course, people are going to do that. Of course, people are going to share the link with me, right? Uh, I can't delete tweets, so those are still there. People like a ton of people tweeted me. I was getting comments like, "You should forgive him," and this is so sincere, and he's being so honest now, and blah blah blah. And it just, mm, it's so frustrating for me because people don't know what has been going on behind the scenes, and people don't know him the way that I do. I was with this person for a year out of my life. More if you count the dating part before we were, like, official. But, like, a decent amount of time. Okay? And it, people are saying mute him. I can't mute people's tweets to me about him. I get floods of people commenting. Anyway, um, I have him blocked on everything. And he even said that in his video. She's like, he's like, yeah, she's got me blocked everywhere. Well, clear, like, I'm, I'm like, diverting. But <laughs> it's just, it's just incredibly frustrating. And... I can't avoid it. And I know that, like I said, I had the choice to, you know, click on the video or not. But, of course, like, I feel like I have to watch it. Because if he's talking about me in a video, I need to know what he's saying. Because I don't know if he's, like, going to say something about me that's going to be damaging. Like, I need to know what's going on. So I watched it. And it was just a bunch of bullshit. 
Like I was, like I said, I was with this person for a decent amount of time and I was lied to throughout the entire thing. And I refuse to be manipulated by that anymore. And if people in his audience want to believe him and people in his audience want to think that his, his apology is genuine and sincere, that's fine. But to me, everything that comes out of his mouth is just utter bullshit. I won't buy it again ever. So if someone wants to send me something by him or if he tries to send me something, just don't. Like, I have blocked him. I blocked his texts. He sent me email. I One email, and I, I clicked the spam button so that I wouldn't get it again. He said in his video he sent me emails, plural. He said he's tried to text me. I have his number blocked. Um, so I have clearly sent the message, and he knows this, that I don't want him contacting me, yet he still tries to contact me. Like, leave me alone. I don't want to be bothered. I want you to go away. I want you out of my life forever. You fucked it up enough. Like, stop. Go away. The only reason a person like that continues isn't because they care about me or they want me to be okay. Because if you really cared about me and you wanted my general like well-being to be priority, you would do what I wanted, which would be to leave me alone, which he's not doing. So his purpose behind doing all of this is for himself. Okay, he's, he's like, <laughs> people who are... People who have nar Ugh, God, how do I say this? People who have narcissistic tendencies don't like to not be liked. So I think it really bothers him that I don't forgive him or that I don't like him or that I don't want to talk to him again. Um, and that it probably really bothered him that I didn't respond to his email. Um, <laughs> I don't I just don't. I want him to go away. And no one needs to tell me how I need to act or how I need to live. Oh, you should give him a, you should allow him into your life and be friends because he's hurting. Like, I get those comments. Oh my God, it's so annoying. <laughs> um, the email that he sent me was relatively short. And it was just basically apologizing. But it was too late. I mean, this was at Playlist Live. Okay, so I ran into him at Playlist Live. I saw him a couple times. Like, I walked by him in the lobby once, and I walked by him at one of the VIP after-party things. And I, we did not speak. I just walked right by him. I was with my friends. I had shit going on. I was busy. Um, like I said, I walked by him in the lobby, and he was talking to other people. Uh, when I walked by him at the party, he was sitting, like, <laughs> whenever I saw him there, he was sitting on a chair by himself on his phone, not talking to anyone. I don't know if he was just having a rough night, or if he was, like, sad that he wasn't having a better time at Playlist, or if he was getting people harassing him about me. Like, I had a couple, like, you know, fans come up to me at Playlist, and they said, hey, we walked by Richie, and, you know, we said Team Jacqueline or something, and I'm like, oh, God, like, I, I, I said to all these people, I'm like, it's very sweet that you support me, but, like, please don't you know, say anything to him or go out of your way to, like, promote negativity. Like, I never would ask anybody to do that. Uh, and it makes me uncomfortable that, that that kind of thing happens. I mean, like I said, I appreciate people coming up to me and sending their support, but, like, I would never want them to go out and do that. And I don't know if, like, him getting that during the day and then going to the party and maybe not having a, a lot of people hang out with him or something put him in a negative mood. But that night after the party at like three in the morning or something, I got an email from him. It was that night at Playlist after the party. I got an email from him. And like I said, this is shit that I never talked about. I never brought it up because I didn't want to talk about him. I didn't want to cause drama. Um, but like in my head, I was just like, this is ridiculous. Like he probably saw me today and it triggered something in him and he, you know, feels bad about himself so he's emailing me it's not it's never because of me you know it's never because he's worried about me or cares about me it's always about him so I didn't you know I didn't feel like I wanted to respond it was too little too late for me at that point and I just want I just want nothing to do with him you know and if <laughs> it's like my other ex I've had the same thing happen where it's like I if I block your number it's because I don't want to talk to you don't try to circumvent that by emailing me my business email don't do that that's weird. And he even said in his email, like, I, I didn't want to do this because I didn't want to be like Toby. It's like, well, then fucking don't. Then don't do it. 
don't talk to me. I don't want to, I don't want to talk to you. So why, why push it? Um, <laughs> didn't say anything. I don't know if me not responding to him pissed him off or what, but like he continued to harass me after that. Like he, you know, you can't apologize and then sell my shit online. You can't apologize and then make a shitty song about me online. You can't apologize and then exploit the whole thing for drama again. You can't do that. That's not genuine. That's not what a really sorry person does. So I didn't respond. And like I said, I don't know if that pissed him off or whatever. Um, but not long after, I got an email from his manager threatening me <laughs> legally um, to take down some of my content that I had made about him. And actually, I think specifically it was, I think it was a re-upload of a stream that I posted on my vlog. I don't remember. Um, I just remember thinking it was really dumb. My name was misspelled in the email. Like, it was just the whole thing was stupid, and it, it went away quickly because it was nonsense. But this was after. This was after the email apology. And I get an email from his manager saying, if you don't take this down by this date, we will pursue legal action. I didn't take shit down, by the way. And the funny thing is, is like, uh, until that point, my initial intention was already to take down those videos, those the re-uploads of my YouNow streams on my vlog channel for two reasons. First of all, they're not actual vlogs, so the, the content is shit anyways, and I don't want all of my content to be about him. Like, I just don't, I don't want someone who maybe is like new to go on my channel and, and see just things about him, you know, drama about him. So my, I was going to take it down anyway. And then I get that and I'm like, oh, well, now I'm not. You know, maybe I will in the future at some point, but certainly not within their timeline, which has long since passed. But like, you know, and then you make this video after you basically threaten to sue me. <laughs> what is it? You're, like anger because I didn't respond to you because I didn't forgive you because I'm not friends with you like because I like, want nothing to do with you and then you and then you act sincere and apologize like I said I could have talked about I could have talked about the email that I got I could have talked about the bullshit online trying to get my videos taken down I could have tried I could have but I didn't want to talk about him I didn't but it's very difficult whenever it's not in private, whenever he publicly uploads a video, trying to act like he's becoming a better person, meanwhile doing all this shit. It's such bullshit. And I'm so annoyed. And all the comments are like, good for you. Good for you. Growing as a person, he's admitted to apparently stop taking, he stopped going to his therapist. Like, he ain't really trying. That is not what somebody does who's trying to get better. You don't continue to do shitty things and then act like you're growing as a person. Meanwhile, you've quit your therapy and you're not telling people what you're doing behind the scenes. <laughs> and like, don't be surprised that people are coming at me with your content when you literally say in the video, I hope she sees this. I don't know what else to say. I'm done talking about. All I want to say is I do not want to talk to you. I do not think that any of that shit was genuine. And if you really, really had my best interests in mind, you would completely stop talking about me. You would stop trying to reach out to me. You would let me separate myself from you and all the shitty things you've done to me and move on with my life. That's all I want. I'm feeling so much happier now and I just want to move on from the bullshit. So stop talking about it. Oh my God. And that's it. That is the tea. And I know, I'm sorry, that was a lot. I went on for a long time. But it's just very frustrating for me when someone tries to act. Like, this is, this is what he does. This is what we do. This is what he does. Nothing in that video was to benefit anyone else other than himself. He's only apologizing to me to try to get people to pat him on the back. He's only apologizing to Onision to get... Onision maybe to react to him or something. I mean, 
it's all attention seeking. Like even the Ronnie Radke stuff. Like, I don't know if you guys even know about this, but like, I, I, God, my, my friend Shanna, um, took me and him to a falling in reverse concert. Um, and he uploaded a, a shitty video about Ronnie after, and I got into a bit of a fight with him about it. Cause I said, listen, my friend Shanna is friends with Ronnie. And if you do this, it's going to be weird and cause problems with them. And like, I was really uncomfortable with it. He did it anyway. Uh, you know, and it, it's just like, ridiculous because now all of a sudden he's just, you know, tweeting at Ronnie and trying to get attention from Ronnie. And like, it's because he's not doing well. I don't, I think that's what it is. I think it's he's not doing well in other areas of his career. So he's trying really desperately to get attention from people who he's pissed off in the past because it's drama or something. I don't know, but this is, this is a, you know, clearly a pattern with what's happening right now. And it's not genuine. He doesn't give a shit about me. He made that up like overwhelmingly clear throughout our relationship that he does not give a shit about me and he continues to not give a shit about me, but he acts like he does in videos for people to tell him what great progress he's made or how good of a person he's becoming or, you know, it, it is all for the ego stroke, all of it. And I'm tired of people sending me that shit, telling me that I need to X, Y, Z. I need to forgive him. I need to reach out to him. I need to like, but fuck all that. I don't need to do shit. I just want to be left alone. I don't know. That's it. That's it.